Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. This is a beautiful contraption. Uh, it took a little trial and error, four days of building it, uh, with kind of improvising as we went. Some jokers put some googly eyes on here. Couldn't have done this without the help from some great friends here. So let's see how this works on the road. Right, here we go. We've acquired today's necessities. Obviously with this contraption, I'm gonna give oncoming traffic lots of room. Let's go. I think you're gonna to have to get some iced tea or lemonade from this lemonade stand, because I am thirsty. Yeah, I'm thirsty. What do you got for sale today? Iced tea. And oh, I think a Gatorade had hit the spot for me. Gatorade? Yeah, thank you. Thanks. And how much are these guys? $3.50. Take that and I don't need any change from you. Thank you. Have yourself a good day. I'm going to go around the gate and take this back road. It should work, I hope. This uh, this e-bike has like a walk feature, so I can take that down. And if I hold this down, it'll power the it'll power the thing. It keeps the cars out, but it can't keep me out. This thing can go anywhere. I think I ding this side of it a little bit. That'll buff right out. Okay. Now this little trail. I got a site and I got a cool sticker here. So uh, I asked for a site that's not up a big hill uh, and I think we've achieved that. So I'm gonna put the sticker on and we'll head off to our sites. This site should work quite well. I'll just pull the camper over and get it leveled. We repurposed this hitch off of a much smaller trailer because it has the spring in there and I can get the flex to it. Uh, but it was riding low, so we've used zip ties to the rescue here. And it's temporary, it has to do for now. It's really very light. Yeah, I'd say shelter is set up for the night, and I'm feeling thirsty. Got these little clips to hold the door open here. It's an old propane access hatch uh, from the used RV store. I got the guys that helped me uh, build the thing coming by to camp out here. So there's going to be some company, hence why there's so many step twos. Believe me, I have to be able to bike out of here in the morning, so I got to take it easy. But cheers, everybody. Step two. This whole contraption, styrene on the top, laminated over top of uh, Coroplast, makes it really rigid, like that. There's a how-to video on how we built this on the Steve Wallace Step 2 channel. 
wherever I can put a link. And anyway, the whole build probably in materials was 600 bucks, 700 bucks. Uh, and it looks a lot more professional than I thought. We've got our checker plate down there. Bicycle hooks on with uh, this guy here, repurposed. Um, some of the stuff is coming delaminated because we didn't know what we're doing. But uh, none of the lights are wired up yet. That's a project for future Steve. Um, probably tonight. And yeah, we'll do a tour inside. There's not much to see. It's not finished yet, but uh, I'll pull some stuff out, get some dinner started, and hopefully we get some northern lights tonight. They're talking about it. without popcorn and popcorn's not a meal hot dogs I think we're supposed to call them glizzies now is the new thing I wasn't completely sure where I was gonna camp tonight but we picked this spot because there was an open sky it has electricity but I did not plan on that so I got the Jackery and that's good because my extension cords not long enough to reach the power so somebody's bringing me an extension cord and I think we can get the hot dog started here. That's at about the maximum capacity for this Jackery. It's only supposed to do 500, so we'll see how it holds out. Couldn't find any actual corner molding. So this is vinyl wrap tape from 3M. Might do the job okay. Uh, window from a used RV guy. Uh, same with the access panel here. This was for a propane hatch on a, on a camper. I can tell because of the propane warnings on the back. Uh, we got these little clips um, from an RV store. These lights were from Princess Auto in Canada, which is like Harbor Freight. This was from an RV store. We had to go find one of these, a little cheap normal light and uh, let's go inside okay uh, <laughs> nothing is finished at all uh, this is the inside of the coroplast uh, we do have this little roof hatch which I don't crank open because that will make things so much more comfortable in here especially when the Sun shines on this uh, we built these little wheel wells just out of um, out of some wood there to cover the uh, to cover where the wheels are. Uh, huh. There you go outside. Everything else in here, the wiring is still all out here. I'm going to try to put that in today. If you watch the build video, you can see um, it was originally going to be like a fifth wheel type of hitch on the back of the bike. That ended disastrously. Uh, so we changed the mounting point to the bottom there. And we've achieved very good results with that. So uh, this old hatch, from the outside, that one actually looks okay. We put more of that styrene on it. But uh, it was one of these crusty old 70s camper ones. Probably full of asbestos. Um, and, you know, another window there at the back that was out of obviously like an RV door or a bathroom or something like that. It's frosted and gives some privacy. And this is, this is going to be the mattress for tonight. So I'm going to get back out. We'll lay this down there. And uh, shortly I'm going to start wiring up some lights so that uh, I can hang out outside by the fire and enjoy the glow of a yellow bug resistant RV light. I haven't even got to enjoy my Gatorade yet from that lemonade stand. Gatorade stand's a, a great idea. The zero sugar stuff. Uh, at least it's got electrolytes, if nothing else. And, yeah, this is two of these uh, three-inch foamies. Should give me a nice, good cushion. 
We're hunkering down tonight. And, oh, yeah. It's open up. A nice little seat to chat with you guys. Um, just the first trip out with this thing. Obviously modifications and tweaks. Didn't want to take it on the highway for too far at all until I knew it wouldn't fly out of control and kill me. Uh, nothing inside's finished. There are a lot of possibilities. I could have a bunk that folds down and turns into kind of a table. It is big enough in there to sit up. And, uh, but this, yeah, this mattress I got fits right in between there perfectly. I'm just trying to get my chair in here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay sitting on a regulation height camping chair, a foldable one. I've turned the mattress around here, uh, just kind of bunched up out of the way for now, but I could see like a little flip down fold out type of thing. Would add some room, more room in here for activities. Um, definitely I'm just gonna put a little blanket or something over to cover this hole until I get it patched up more permanently. And a shorter chair would actually work. Like, I really could sit around here, relax on a rainy day, read a book, put up a movie somewhere. I could, you know, it could be a little fold down thing there, like a kitchen. It is full of possibilities, and I welcome you guys' suggestions. From the far end in here, uh, from where the camera is, it really isn't that claustrophobic, which I was kind of expecting. So, something for the walls on these two by twos. Uh, it's probably going to be extremely light, almost like cardboard with wallpaper on it or something. If you know of a product that might work, let me know about that. But yeah, this is like storage right up here, can easily lay down, a fold down bed. I've been dreaming about building one of these for ages and I'll show you how it came together here in a second. I knew I wanted something in proportion to the bicycle. So I looked up kind of a little fifth wheel type of arrangement. I figured the overhang is a great use of space on top of the back wheel, but that's not going to work. So then I sketched out this little thing with some rough dimensions there. Uh, not very pretty, but that was the next step. And then I whipped out the graph paper. I came up with this. Now this might look a little familiar to you. I didn't know what size of windows and doors I'd be dealing with, but that was just a rough guess. I figured the wheels at 10 inches outside diameter would be in proportion to this. Eh, they don't look quite that good, but close. 12 inch wheels in there would look a little bit better. Uh, the decals, we just kind of went with what we had. And, you know, the rear, few of that I figured uh, something like that with spare tire uh, that's just a placeholder tire because that won't actually fit on here but we had to put something there and there it is okay that Jackery is burning through the power it has not been on very long and down to 43% from a 98% charge but those uh, hot dogs are glizzies as we're supposed to call them seem to be doing okay uh hope my extension cord gets here soon because i want to pop a little corn and watch a little hockey we got our extension cord not a moment too soon jackery's down to 33 and it's feeling hot Just watching the game. I know I should be filming a video, but uh, gotta watch this. I'll be back when it's over. We'll light a fire, chow down on some dogs, and uh, have a good old night.
Okay, I was filming the Aurora Borealis, which turned out to be lackluster. Everybody else posted amazing pictures. Well, there's one. And it's time to get down to business. I assumed the game would not go into overtime, and I assumed I would have time to hook up the wiring. You know what happens when you assume? You reach a logical conclusion based on the information you have at hand. Just gonna hook up that one light. I'll tie that up nicely so the two ends won't meet and arc out. Um, the battery has fail-safe protectors in it, but it's really hard on the battery. Pretty darn sturdy for a polymer composite. Uh, like, really, it is solid uh, and light. The whole thing, probably 160 pounds and I've been dreaming of building one of these since I was in my 20s. And we're at the age where technology from like an off-the-shelf bicycle can tow this thing. And it doesn't even have that big of a motor on it. Like 250 watts, third of a horsepower. And I can take this pretty well anywhere I want to. Uh, 500 watts is legal, um, which I'd have no problem at all. I could even extend the checker plate around it and add a little more weight, but uh, there's enough space on the top that I could put the solar on there to just keep driving it um, endlessly. I was expecting more people to come by, so I have a surplus of dogs, both dogs and buns. really awesome in here actually ow and I like poke my thumb here on one of these nails so these have got to change this will be more than plenty so with the width here you know I got room either side a few inches and For shoes uh, of course behind the camera there there is more storage I can put the shoes there too exceptionally cozy definitely need some blinds some uh, some finishing inside to make it a little more uh, domestic but uh, I don't see any of those flying ants in here that's a great thing I'm going to turn off the light outside. Ah, just like that. And I'll do the old reach around up there to lower my door. Ah, ah. <laughs> I can't believe I towed this on the bike. Uh, to go to bed, I want the door kind of latched. There is no locking mechanism here. In fact, there's barely a latching mechanism. I have to like pull that in and turn it by hand. And uh, same over there. It 
in all honesty, without all the stupid stuff uh, hauling around like the popcorn maker and stuff like that, this would be almost practical, I have to say. This is a perfect temperature for me. I'm going to sleep like a baby. So glad we got the roof vent and this window there with the screen. Oh. Enough rambling. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. That worked just great in here last night. Just need some uh, blackout curtains or something like that. But yeah, this is like the perfect size. This is absolutely perfect. Um, this is my rundown on the situation. Just gonna get out of here, walk around a bit, stretch these legs out, and recap on this mission. This thing tows great except I could use a more powerful e-bike. Uh, this one's 250 watts, about a third of a horsepower, and I'm allowed to have 500 watts here in Canada. Um, rules, yeah. Um, but that would be okay. With 500 watts, with twice the power, I pull this thing no problem. And what's even better? I got an e-bike, but they have e-bike kits. So this one's got the back wheel that's powered. I put a wheel onto the front of this bike, from an e-bike kit and have like a double e-bike uh, this that would tow this around no problem at all weight wise it's acceptable it's not going to get any lighter than this i could go around um trying to take off wood here and there that's not necessary uh, but i think when i load it up with gear anyways and water is going to be like the biggest weight that i'm carrying so that's about all i can do weight wise um the wiring and then the inside i don't know exactly what the best way is maybe you guys have some ideas that you can let me know but uh you know it's it's framed it's two by two framing coroplast um i think you know it's not ugly but it could be beautiful um so i i, I gotta come up with something light weight that i can put on there I made the very rookie mistake of um, running to the washroom and I left buns on the table and I got back and there's no buns but there's a very happy looking crow flying around that is likely full of buns it's really smoky today there's a wildfire somewhere that's blowing in here um, so I don't want to do a marathon bike trip with this up a hill today uh, and I'm encrusted in mustard um, from those hot glizzies, hot dogs. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack up here. Um, it's it's great to be able to uh, to get another video. Out. This is the type of projects I'm talking about. Um, it's going to keep coming. I'm already thinking of the next one and the next one, and this can kind of round out my experience. Um, when I can't get to a stealth camping video, I can build something like this. And if I see something good and stealthy, I'm gonna camp there. But uh, it takes me longer than a week to find a place like that and get to it and check it out and plan it. So um, we're going to be messing around with this type of stuff. So it, it was great to film another video. I know it's been like months since there's been some regular decent content up. And what I want to do is keep the train going because I am feeling pretty good health wise. Um, so mentally I'm, I'm doing great. So I'm just going to keep on going, pushing forward and um, getting getting the hiccups out of this because I'd forgotten batteries. I forgot uh, half the stuff. I had to, you know, call my friend and get and bring stuff out to me that I'd forgot, like flashlight, all the simple stuff that I, I thought I had in a certain bag, but I haven't used this stuff in a while. So, um, thanks everybody for stopping by. Uh, I I might just hang out here another day and, and camp here. I'm not sure because. Uh, I, I really don't want to bike this up that big hill in the smoke um, after I've been up till like four in the morning waiting for northern lights to happen. Uh, I just want a little bit of a relaxing day. So cheers everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing if this is your first time on the channel. Uh, it gets weirder than this. Uh, so buckle up. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Uh, we're back in business.